Today we have Ian with us, a patient of mine who's young and who suffers with palpitations. Um, he's got an iWatch, an Apple Watch Series 4, and I'm going to go ahead, Ian, to ask you to record an EKG for me. So go, go ahead. You press the crown, press it harder. Good. And we find the app, which is this e ECG app. We're pressing on that. And just hold the index finger on the crown here like this and keep steady. So there we go, ectopic beat and ectopic beat. So what we can see here, which is very nicely demonstrated, is that Ian has very skinny heartbeats here. Skinny, 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 fat, skinny, 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 fat, skinny, 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 fat. And you can see how Ian might be highly symptomatic with this. And notably, the watch will give you um, if it's doing its job right, an algorithmic interpretation of this is inconclusive, not necessarily atrial fibrillation, which it does very well as well, but also for, um, in, in this example, an inconclusive result. So in summary, we can use the Apple Watch also to detect ventricular ectopic beats as you've seen just here today. Thank you, Ian. Thank you.